All right, Kyle, I know about 60,000 plus people left Arlington, uh, AT&T Stadium in Arlington last night. The Ed Sheeran concert drenched <laughs> with a big downpour. What's on tap today? Well, almost an exact repeat of what we saw yesterday. I think uh, most of you will be dry the majority of the day today during the daylight hours, but yet another kind of round of thunderstorms potentially moving across North Texas late this evening and into tonight for most of you probably more so tonight, like we saw last night. In the meantime, it's a warm and muggy start to the day. 71 on the campus of UNT and Denton. Look at just the haze in the air as we look down on Cedar Hill. 71 degrees outside at the moment. Here's your severe weather threat for today, mainly across western North Texas, where those storms will initially form uh, well to the west of the majority of North Texas, or maybe just kind of in western North Texas as they initially go up. There'll be supercell storms with a threat for some large to very large hail and obviously some damaging wind threat as well. And then as the storms move east this evening and into tonight, lose the heat of the day, continuing to have a lingering wind and hail threat. But the severe weather threat, at least if and when they arrive in DFW, not completely zero, but on the lower side. So here's what happens today. Not much during the daytime hours, but here developing those storms about five o'clock across western areas six still maybe even the west of our viewing area by seven maybe starting to sneak into western portions of uh, our viewing area eight nine o'clock storms across western north texas but still dry in and around dfw and then some storms start to move in some clusters or scattered thunderstorms start to move in into the dfw area 10 11 midnight or so but you can see how they're just not as intense as they were when they were initially across western areas at that time frame but certainly could could have some bouts of heavy rain, frequent lightning as well. And as everything moves off to the east, as we head through the late night hours, those storms will come to a close. The coverage may not end up being as high as what it was last night. Kind of remains to be seen. It really just depends on where those where and when those storms form somewhere out kind of near Abilene or maybe even west of that this afternoon into the evening. So go about your day today. It'll be warm, humid and breezy yet again with highs in the upper 80s. But late this evening and into tonight, chance for thunderstorms across the area. Then you want to do it all over again? Let's do it again tomorrow. Here's Monday. Nothing happening during the morning hours. Afternoon, not much happening either, except for some storms trying to form across yet again, western North Texas. Some isolated thunderstorms, maybe not forming as many kind of these clusters to groups and forming and moving into the DFW area during the nighttime hours. It'll be a little bit more of a cap in place tomorrow, so storms might be a little more isolated tomorrow afternoon and evening across western North Texas, but it's still possible we could see Yet another round of storms trying to move into DFW tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. The severe weather threat right now one on a scale of five across western areas for you guessed it, wind and hail. Storm coverage does increase as we head through the upcoming week and even into your Mother's Day weekend. So we'll have to watch out for maybe a little bit of a wet Mother's Day weekend. As the rain coverage increases, the temperatures do to go down and we get back close to normal the second half of the week and into next weekend as well. Right now, not a high severe weather threat, even though those storms are going up. But of course, it is May. And so we'll take each day as it comes and we'll monitor all that through the upcoming week and next weekend as well.